So this is the untested 1946 Coleman. These are the military lanterns. Uh, this was all paint. So I sandblasted the tank, got down to brass, and it took quite a bit of polishing. I still have to polish it with brass, though. The only thing I can't do is this because it's porcelain. So, this is the uh, completed tank. These are the original screws. Everything's been redone. From original glass handle. Um, takes the big bell style handle. This was pretty rusty when I got it. It took a lot of work on that. But it was worth it. Looks pretty new. There's the cap. And this one has the screw on style. And I pulled all this out. Even I, I even polished this inside here. Um, this one screws on. Now along with this, we also have, which is very uh, unusual, most of the Coleman lanterns, uh, let me see, the label goes in between here, let me see if I got another one here, you can see the pumper valve, this one, the original decal went below the gas from all the pictures I've seen went below the gas tank and I just don't know if I want to put it on here yet this is the original decal and what's it say non-leaded <laughs> that's when uh, they had regular gasoline Anyway, this one's done, so this will make the fourth completed, and this is a Coleman 228C, 1946. You know, I think I forgot to do the bottom on it, so I'm going to paint the base green, and I wish I would have done that while I still had the tank apart, but that doesn't matter. That's it. What's the bottom look like right now? It looks pretty good actually. It's all been sandblasted and treated. A um, little bit of uh, dirt on there from polishing the brass. But look at this. You can see where the original tank was soldered. A few of these have the white globe on the inside. And I did everything. Inside, outside, bottom. So that's it for this for this lantern. Look how big this one is compared to the rest. The rest yeah. look at that. Even a darker green color. So glad I didn't have to paint this one. That's it.